I've been playing around a lot with my CNC, so stick with me and I'll show you how easy it is to make this board into this sign. So I took a 1x10 board and I sanded it down 220, put some shellac on it, and then just spray painted it. Now it's time for the Aura mask. This stuff is great if you're going to paint, especially two different layers. I'm going to mask off the, the first layer, and then I can paint the background. This stuff's not too bad to apply, except for when you don't have fingernails. To make sure you get all the bubbles out, use one of these laminate rollers. Okay, time to go over to CNC. For this tool path, I know that I'm not going all the way out to the edges. So I can use my clamp down if I was doing surfacing or going all the way out to the edge, like I will on my last tool path. Then I can't use these. As you can see, I trimmed that one off nicely so I can use it. That should be good. Now, if I was doing surfacing, I could only use these. These guys do a pretty good job of clamping these in nice and tightly up against the fence. Set up my touch plate. So give me my XYZ automatically. Looks pretty good. That was a big mistake. Don't be like me. I used an upcut bit, the eighth inch, but it looks like I'll be able to recover that. Should be able to clean that up. Now be sure to use a downcut bit and get this cleaned up. Okay, I just peeked underneath and the green is way too close to the black. It's not gonna stand out. So this is kind of an emergency as I try to Get the background a different color. We'll see. See if this works. Okay, let's see what we got. Looks like a Christmas sign. It's important to get this off before the paint dries too much. Well, thanks for sticking to the end. I think the sign turned out okay. I still have to improve a lot with my CNC machining and my painting technique. I was able to get a couple of the smudges that I had from the Aura mask out by just taking a roller and rolling it lightly with the green paint on top, and that smoothed everything out. So it turned out, it turned out well. Now I'm gonna cover it in spar urethane so it can be put outside. Thanks for sticking around, and be sure to like and subscribe.